We're ready to start the 2021 shearing. How many alpacas do we have? We have 17. And we had 15 last year, but we have the additions of... Daniel and Asher. And we've had no deaths this year, which is really nice because we do have some older alpacas. The first one will be Moose. He's one of our older alpacas. He was born here and Maria and I were there when watching his birth. His mom was Aragon and he looked like a little wet moose. His ears were down and they popped right up pretty quick. Oh. I like it. Do you like his haircut? we'll be using when shearing the alpacas include scissors for shearing them, toenail clippers for trimming their nails, garbage bags for storing the fiber, and I'll be separating the fiber into two different bags. One will be blanket and the other will be net and laid. These bags will then get put away into a plastic bag for each alpaca. We have a measuring tape to measure the staple length of the fiber. We have some sharpeners for the scissors. We have halters in several different sizes for the alpacas. We have flex tape for my mom's hands. And finally, we have some cookies for the alpacas. They love this kind, apple cinnamon. We also have a scale, which I will use to weigh the fiber. All of their fiber will then get put into plastic bins. And of course, we have the shearing chute. The black alpacas like Johnny here look like they're brown, but that's actually just from the sun. So you'll see when he's finished that he is actually a true black. You want a cookie? You want a cookie? Eating cookies, waiting for their tail to stop. <laughs> Lots of cookies. Lots and lots. One of them? One of them? Okay, we brought Johnny back and now we are in the shelter with the alpacas waiting for the hail to stop. And they're all checking out Johnny, making sure it's still him. And we're looking for a dry one. If there's a dry one, they'll be next.
Everybody gets a cookie. Solomon? Samson? Uh-oh, you're going to get kicked in the head? Come on. Goliath? David? Ruthie? Or Esther? Ruthie! Okay. Did she get that? Yep. Come on, catch. Whoa. Your arm being shared. Okay, so this is Blessing, and she is a rescue, and since we got her, what, like five years ago, Maria, or six, she's never made it to the chute. She's the one alpaca that we, we do not get to the chute, and that's okay. We don't know her whole background, other than her owner died, and she needed a home, and we took her, and this is how she gets sheared. I like to get all the hair off their head because it's very hot here in the summer. It can be 100 degrees for many days and it's so much cooler to get that hair off. I don't like it when I see alpacas with the big hairdos and sometimes people think it's funny or cute or really silly, but it can be really hot, I think, for an alpaca. So we get all the hair off and we use all the hair too. And, Next is Labriska. Labriska, you're next. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. Would you like a cookie? One way is to lead them with the lead rope, or you can lead them with that one. Come on, let's go. Time to get sheared. Big girl. Over here. Time for your haircut. You're so good. You're so good. Good. Come on, let's go. One reason that I like to use shears, hand shears, is because it's less stress for the alpaca. It's quiet. We can hear the birds singing and they don't get injured. We should be able to get through these 17 alpacas without anybody getting cut. And I don't get second cuttings. Let me get one on purpose here. Maria, you want to show that? Second cutting would be like you make a cut mm. and then you go back through and do that. With scissors, I don't get that. And it's just less stress. They can eat cookies without the, you want cookie? They love apple cinnamon cookies. It's just a really nice time without all the noise and without them humming or spitting or kicking. So I will stick with shears and I have tried both and I sold the electric shears. I did not like it and they didn't like it. Shearing an alpaca by hand for me takes about 30 minutes and we do time it per animal, per year, and that also includes toenail cl clippings, their vaccine, giving them cookies, and taking a sample. I like to take a sample right about in the middle there, and then I hand it to Maria, and she measures the staple length, and we record all that. And the half an hour also includes Maria bagging, bagging up the blanket fiber, which is what sits right here, and the neck and leg fiber. The reason that I like to hand shear myself is that I, it's very flexible and I can go by the weather. If I had to schedule a shear to come in, the you know cold front might be coming in and I'm kind of committed to that shear coming, but I can look at the 10 day and say, no, it's not, I'm not quite ready yet. And I also like the flexibility that, oh, it's, it's going to rain, let's just stop. And so that's just another reason I really like to shear my own animals on my schedule, how I want to do it. I keep thinking of more things, so good thing I brought more cookies. But another reason I like to hand shears, I, 
the biggest thing I like about the alpaca business is Ray falling off the table. <laughs> She's okay. <laughs> you guys don't see what I, I see all the time. Um, I like spending time <laughs> with the animals. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the alpaca business part of it is just spending time with them. And if I had a shearer come in, I wouldn't have that one-on-one -on -one time. And of course they trust me that they wouldn't trust a shearer because you earn trust and they wouldn't know the shearer. So that's just another reason. Okay, back, back, back. Good girl. You're all finished. Want a cookie? You guys want cookies? David? Ruthie, Esther, Stephen, Solomon. Oh, you don't want a cookie? And one more for the brisket. Before we let you go. There you go, you're free. Or you want to stay for cookies? you are. Time to get a haircut. Come on. Come on, let's go. Time to get a haircut. Come on, Daniel. Good boy. This is Daniel's first shearing and this is baby alpaca and baby alpaca is measured by the microns not necessarily their age. We had an alpaca one time, Azariah, that had baby alpaca his entire life. But anyways, Daniel's doing really well. He's enjoy enjoying eating the cookies while I'm getting his fiber off. Daniel has a staple length of about five inches. Maria will get exact measurement. That's how long the fiber is. So all of our fiber is and always has been processed here on site by me and Maria. But that doesn't mean everything we sell is made just by us. We also sell items from New England Fiber Pool and other places. But the, the alpaca that we shear um, gets made into jar balls and they're really soft. Fiber like Daniel's here will get spun.